everyone, and welcome to our three-part series uh, on setting up your phone for use with Diffusion and Megapass service. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Earl Kelly. I'm the owner and CEO of uh, EK3 Technologies right here in Jacksonville, Florida. This is the first of our series, and in this series we're going to uh, take the phone out of the package, plug it in, and get it ready to set up for use with the Megapath um, slash Fusion service. You'll hear me say Fusion and Megapath uh, a lot. Um, Megapath is Fusion and Fusion is Megapath. Uh, the service used to be Megapath and it has been for quite some time. Uh, but they recently got purchased by Fusion, which is going to do some great things for the service. Today we're going to talk about the VVX250 phone. It's a Polycom phone. Uh, Polycom actually just um, sold, uh, bought Plantronics. They created a new company called Poly. So if you're looking for information online, you might want to uh, Google search for Poly or Polycom. Both of those are exactly the same company uh, as well. So we're going to, in this series, we're going to take the phone out of our pack, out of its packaging and set it up. And uh, then in uh, section two of this video series, we will talk about basic functionality of the phone. And section three, we'll talk about advanced functionality. Again, as always, if you have any questions or need any assistance with the phone, please feel free to call uh, our support line at 904-875-5051. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, before seeing this video, you should have received uh, a phone package. It looks uh, a lot like this. comes in a fancy box. And uh, we're just going to pull the phone out of the box. So we're first going to pull back the tab. Open the box, you'll see it comes in three pieces. Okay. And inside the box, you should have uh, two separate boxes. You should have a box that looks like this, and you should have a white box that looks like this. So we're going to set both of these aside for now, and we'll take this box and we'll set it on the floor. So we don't need that box anymore. So we're going to take our smaller box like this, and we're going to open this box up. Again, it's going to have a pull tab here. We'll just pull this tab out. We'll open it up. And inside, you're going to see uh, the phone. You'll see uh, five different plastic packages. You'll see the phone itself, the handset, and under here, there are there's a package for uh, two different kinds of cable and the back of the phone, which we'll get to in just a moment. So the first thing we're going to do is pull the phone out of its plastic bubble wrap. We're going to take the phone out, and we're going to set the plastic bubble wrap aside because tomorrow, uh, when the kids are screaming and we're at home because of COVID-19, you might need a stress reliever. So this comes at no additional charge. But we're going to take the phone out of its package. Now, this is the VVX250 phone. Again, it's from uh, Polycom. When we boot it up, you'll actually see here it says Polycom, but on the screen it says Poly. Again, same company, just uh, interesting information for you. So we'll set that aside for now. In the box, you'll also receive a headset. I'm going to pull that out. Again, it comes with plastic bubble wrap. Feel free to give this to the kids, set it aside, or use it when you get stressed out later. Either one, it works just fine. So here's the handset. Also in the package, um, which I'm not going to actually unwrap, um, but through the magic of television, it is already unwrapped for me, will be an Ethernet cable. It looks like this. It comes with what looks like to be two fat phone jacks on either side. There will also be a coil, coil cable. And finally, the back of the phone. Okay. So let's go ahead and assemble our phone. But uh, before we do that, I think it's important to understand what ports we have on the back of the phone. So if you were to pick up the phone and flip it over on the back, but I'm going to go over these ports, but inside the package as well, there should be a document. It looks like this. Uh, and on that document, inside page one, in case you want to follow along with me, inside that document on page one are exactly where to connect all of the cables that we're going to talk about today. Okay. So on the back of the phone, starting from left to right, you'll see there is a small round uh, port here. This is the power port. You'll also see right next to that, again, looks like a giant phone cable. This is called a RJ45 port, or 
uh, an Ethernet port. And you'll see there are two. There's one that looks like a fraction with uh, could be two little stick uh, people. These little people are upside down. That's actually the symbol for network. Uh, and then next to that, you'll see one that looks like a small computer. It's actually the symbol for computer. And finally, you'll see what looks to be two phone jacks. One looks like a headset. The other looks like the handset. So there are five ports total on the back of this phone. Left to right, you have power, network, computer, headset, handset. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our coiled cord. And this cord has two sides to it. It has a long side and it has a short side. Long side, short side. So we're going to take the long side. We're going to pick up our phone. We're going to plug the line, long side into the port on the back of our phone that says handset. We're going to pop it in there like so until it push it in until it clicks. So um, it only goes in one way. You're going to push it in until it clicks. You'll also see on the back of this phone, there's a small channel right here. And this long side of the cord actually fits inside the small channel, like so. You kind of bend it around. And then this cord hangs out the side through the small channel, like so. Okay. Take the other end of that cable and plug it into the handset. Again, it only goes in one way. Push it until it clicks and it's good to go. Okay. So on the back of the phone, let's talk about the network connection. This is the most important, po most important uh, portion of plugging this phone in uh, aside from the network cable. So if you're at home and you have Comcast or AT&T, those are the most common uh, carriers that we deal with. There are other carriers out there. You may have uh, DirecTV, you may have uh, Dish, you may have um, some other different kind of carrier, HughesNet, whatever. Um, but I'm going to talk about the two most common carriers in the U.S. So if you have Comcast or AT&T, you're going to take, um, or actually inter any internet service, but I'm going to uh, talk to you about both Comcast and AT&T. So you're going to take one side of this Ethernet cable that came with your phone, you're going to take one side of this plug, and you're going to plug it in to the port right here that is the uh, network port. Okay, again, it looks like a fraction uh, with two upside down people and one right side up stick first. Okay, so we're going to stick this cable in and again, we're going to push it in until it clicks. Once it clicks, you're ready to go. Now, this other end of the cable, you're going to plug into your cable motor. This is where it gets a little tricky. Okay, so if you have Comcast, you may have uh, one of two different types of cable modems. You'll see here I'm showing you the most common. Um, on the Comcast modem, uh, the older Comcast modems are very tall. They're made by Technicolor. They're located here on the left. Um, so in that particular instance, you'll see uh, I already have one plugged in here, and you'll see that there's a white cable and there are four different plugs in the back of the phone. So, or the back of the cable motor. So in that case, you would take one of these plugs, you would take this plug and you would plug it in to the back of the modem uh, next into one of those uh, three empty slots next to the one that's there. If you have an Xfinity uh, X1 cable modem, these are the uh, most up-to-date cable modems, but they only come with two internet ports. So if you'll see the modem that I have uh, listed down here, I can actually make it a little bigger for you. So if you'll see the, mo the modem that I have listed here, uh, there are four ports on this particular modem. The Xfinity X1 modem is on the right. You'll notice that the two up top are actually for phone. Those will not work. You will have to plug the phone itself into one of the um, internet ports that are listed here. Again, those ports are listed on the X1 Xfinity modem uh, with the same symbol that you'll see on the back of your phone. So that's if you have Comcast, okay? If you have AT&T, you will have a different looking modem. So if you have AT&T, you will have a modem that looks similar to this. Now, these are two separate modems that we're looking at here, um, but 
AT&T, actually all modems look exactly the same. They're all designed by the same company and it's super easy to figure out. They all come with four ports. You'll plug this end of your phone, this end of the phone into one of the yellow ports on the back of your AT&T modem. So it doesn't matter what brand of modem you have, or excuse me, it doesn't matter how old your modem is or how new your modem is. On AT&T modems, they are all yellow, super easy to plug in and super easy to move forward. So once you plugged your phone in um, to the cable modem itself, you will then take the white box that we got earlier and we set aside. You'll take this box and open it up. And inside of that, you'll find a power cord, okay? So you'll take this into the power cord and you will plug it into the round hole here on your phone. So your phone should now look like this. Sorry, I unplugged that one. Your phone should look like this. You should have this going to your cable modem, this going to the power. So you'll plug this in. And once you plug this in, your phone will start to boot itself up. So let's, let's see what that looks like. So again, through the power of television, we have one already set up here. So we're gonna plug this in. You'll notice that once I plug this phone in, it lights up and starts flashing. It'll go through its setup. And once it goes through its setup, um, it will, you'll see, it'll show um, two lines. Now, this may take up to 15 to 20 minutes. And the phone, because this is the first time that this has happened, the phone will reboot several times, okay? This phone I've already set up and it's already, it, it literally took it 15 minutes for it to set up. But once it's set up, it takes it, about two to three minutes uh, to boot up if you were to disconnect. So as soon as your phone uh, connects, it will actually set itself up. And then you will see over on the left-hand side right here, you'll see two extension lines. There'll be a green check mark and it'll actually have the time. And that's how you know that your phone is set up. If you see anything other than that, once your phone is started, um, then you would need to contact our support department. So you'll see that this particular phone, I let it boot up. Let me figure out how to set it up here. I let it boot up. You'll see on the left-hand side, it has two extensions, right? It has a phone and a green check mark right there. And the time is correct. So as long as that's correct, you are set up, you're ready to go. If you have any further questions, give our support department a call. I do wanna talk about one caveat, however, and that caveat is going to be if you um, do not have another internet connection on the back of your modem. So if on the back of your modem, all of the connections are used, or you have the Xfinity X1 modem, and that modem in particular is, uh, there's no more ports available on that modem. You can do what we call daisy chain the phone, and that allows you to connect your computer and your phone together. So what we would do in that instance is we would take our computer, we would take our, our same phone that we had before. You would unplug the end of the ethernet cable that is currently plugged into your computer or some other device in your home. It doesn't have to be your computer, but whatever it's plugged into, you can actually um, disconnect that from that device and you would plug that in to the port that says network, okay? You would then take the cable that was provided plug it into where it says computer, and then plug this into the computer. So what you in, in, in sense have is you have a cable here that plugs into the cable modem. It's then plugged into here, then this plugs into your computer, putting this in between the cable modem and your computer, and that will allow you to use the phone if you have no connections. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to call our support department. We're always glad to help. Um, at 904-875-5051. You can also text us at, nine, at the same number, 904-875-5051, or email us at support at ek3tech.com. So it's going to be great talking with you. Uh, look forward to seeing you in future videos.